Hey folks, Tony Lockhart here. In this critique video, what I'd like to do is to focus on some camera movements. So let's start by examining a storyboard that one of my students made. We've got an over the shoulder shot and there's some kind of effects animation happening over here in the distance. This triangle is kind of morphing into some kind of a character. And I guess what's gonna happen is, is that these characters are gonna square off and have some kind of a conflict, okay? Now, the, the criticism of this is, is that I don't really, it's not clear and I don't understand what this is. So I think we need to develop a strong silhouette. Also, it would be nice to go and take some of this effects animation and duplicate some panels to make it a little bit more 3D. Um, also, I think we should try to recompose the shot so it shows the two characters kind of like this. All right, so let's go try to make that happen. By the way, I did a little bit of drawing off camera. So here is our setup. So we basically have a standard HD 1920 by 1080. We have one character on a, on a layer and we've got another one here and then my original artwork in my background. Here's what I would recommend you do. I think you should go and build this out and then you should go and duplicate this a few times because Storyboard Pro is really helpful. Now what you could do is with your starting frame, you can increase or decrease the time to about, I don't know, five, six seconds. And then we've got our, we've got our setup right there, okay? We've got our five or six seconds establishing shot. We've got a couple of extra shots right here so we can have some kind of change with the action. And then let's go back and modify. So at the end of my student's animation, we have one character versus another. And then as we move upwards, there's a, a metamorphosis that's happening and then there's some kind of a weird shape. Okay, let's go back to the first drawing Let's delete this layer. And instead, what I wanna do is I'm just gonna go and draw that character looking at some kind of a weird triangle that might be spinning and having some kind of a, I don't know, some weird aura about it, okay? By the way, if I put this on a separate layer, I can move it around and animate it, but let's save that for a different video, all right. Let's go here to this one because I need to figure out the halfway point between the triangle and this guy. So what I want to do is to select all that artwork and delete it. And if we go back to my student's drawing, there's some kind of weird thing that's happening. So let's go redraw that again as some kind of a triangular-ish type character that's metamorphosing into something else. Let's put an arm out this way and an arm this way leg and a cape and let's do some special effects I want to use this technique called draw behind and fill shape so now if I go and draw a triangle it's gonna co color behind and then what I could do is fill in some of these other shapes to start making them look like the limbs of a character and just kind of turn this into something so when I flip through the animation, it's gonna look as if there's some kind of action that's happening, okay? Now this looks great because if I scrub through the animation, there's a pop that happens. And all I really need to do is to make sure that these things are in the right place, um, but I think that's okay. Okay, so now I have three separate things and I did just a little bit of drawing. What I should do now is I'm gonna go to the camera tool and I'm gonna go a little bit tighter on the action. And I'm gonna start the camera way out here. If I go to the beginning, it's reset the camera over there. So what I can do now is I can hit the plus sign and now I've got a camera location. I can go and move time to some other point and I can add another keyframe for the camera. And let's scoot this a little bit over here to the right. So now we're just about done. We have some kind of camera move. We can see the scene establish. And then there's some animation that happens and pop. Then there's the bad guy. 
All I gotta do is go and adjust this accordingly so it's a little bit quicker. And then if I want to, I could shorten this and do even more camera moves. In fact, let me go do that. I'm gonna go over here and let me go add in another keyframe. And at this point, let's add in one last keyframe and we're gonna zoom it in just a bit and it'll be a little bit more abrupt as we zoom in on this guy. He's gonna say something like, I'm gonna get you, okay? Let's do one final reveal and you'll see what it takes to do camera moves. Not bad. There it is, my friends. I hope that was helpful. Go give this a shot and see if you can do the same. Thank you. Bye-bye.